Hey, good morning, everybody. Janet Jekyll Bates. It is Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. This is your workshop update. A few pieces to show you this morning. Let's get right into that. We're going to start out with this Rayburn Red Fade. Pull this up in the light. You can see that it does fade back to a lighter orange in the back and then a darker, darker red up top in that crawl pattern. I, I do keep on modifying the crawl pattern as I go because life changes. Um, I like to do different things with it. Don't like the same old crawl pattern every single time, so I like to add a little something new when I get the opportunity to do that. This is that Money Crawl 2. Both of those are available at www.chucklebaits.com. This is uh, under the SQB Cranks. This has got some pretty cool detailing on those cross segment edges and that shading. Yep, the shading, the shading. Everything is shading. Everything is low PSI. Everything is uh, stenciled and it's hand cut stencils. I, I make my own. Just, uh, just a killer crawl pattern this time of year. That's why it's the money crawl. So a couple more pieces to show you. Actually, let's go over here. You guys saw the spray session, or you may not have, but there's a spray session out that uh, it's a, I've started doing mystery tackle box spray sessions because I'm a custom painter. I'm a lore design artist. And one of the things that I like to do, this is probably gonna be my next victim, um, is take a perfectly good functional bait and kind of do a custom spin on it because that's what I do. I paint baits. Um, these are fantastic. They're functional. It's a solid pattern. Everybody has that pattern, but everybody has that pattern. So I like to give the fish something they haven't seen yet. Sometimes that can make all the difference and give you an edge when you're tournament fishing, or it's just refreshing to throw something that not everybody else has. Uh, there's a lot of reasons that people would want custom baits and I prefer, yes, I do. I prefer to paint them on brand names. There are a lot of really, really, really good replicas out there um like that one back to this um going back to brand name baits that are reliable that's that's what it boils down to when you find something that you you're confident in throwing so a lot of the times when my clients ask me for stuff instead of giving them something that they've never thrown before and like this this is going to be a surprise for my customer because he asked just for um six deep divers um, didn't specify that he wanted brand and, and he, I didn't charge him for brands, but every once in a while I like to surprise him because these are, these are all brand names. Um, these are all like bombers and strike Kings and, and different, different types of, uh, of brand name baits. And I did a couple on cross and he asked for lines. He's like, um, put your interpretation on it and put some lines on the bait. So these definitely have lines on the bait, but I did a couple of different things. Um, and I, and I like to, and these are deep divers, so reds and oranges have a tendency to disappear um, on deep divers, and it becomes more of a profile bait. So when you can give a few more triggers than just lines, um, I, like to, I like to be able to do that. And I am going to throw in a couple of bonus baits as well. Um, these are going to be pretty cool. And there's six of them. I've got two and two and two. So I have two of this pattern. I have two of the crawl pattern. And uh, just uh, I got some UV paint on the eyes, the glow paint that um, they should light up and give an additional target. And then I always do my own unique crawl arm stencil on the front when I'm doing crawls. Um, just not, I just try and think out of the box for my customers because I know that my customers are going to want a little bit more and fish a little bit harder. And uh, I try and, I try and give that to them. It's been the craziest weather week, last couple of weeks. We, it stays dry for about two days and we get really awesome humidity, but then we get right back into crazy rain and all kinds of, it's, I guess it's just normal, typical spring for this time of year down here in Arkansas, but um, it does make for a bit of an inconvenience because I end up having to cure the, 
the lures for a little bit longer than I want to. So these lures are getting out, should all be out by the end of the week. And I've got a whole bunch of other batches. We're just about out of February completely. And then we're into the March orders. Yay. So, um, can blame it on the rain and the humidity for that. But, uh, I'm sitting here with this rivet for Ken and the tilapia is still on that clear coat rack. Uh, I should have that off sometime this afternoon and we'll get these out to you guys tomorrow but this is the ribbit his eyes love the blending in the head this is one of my favorites I, this is one of my favorite frogs to do emily these are coming out to you tomorrow as well this is the night king it's going to get cleaned up dressed up and she also ordered a white walker as well. A little bit more muted on those blue eyes, but the blue eyes are still there. You can see in that, the bluish green eyes. But I don't use the same eyes for the white walkers as I do the Night King. He's got the killer eyes, but he's in charge, so. Copper Craw. And you can see it shimmering underneath. This was a request for a silent 1.5, and the only thing that I had left in silent, I've got a whole bunch of stuff ordered and coming in, lots of new blanks coming in, um, but I had a holographic, so which is actually pretty cool. This, this turned out really, really nice. But there's that copper crawl. We also have an Ozark or Norfolk crawl. And that little Johnny, we have a holographic harvest crawl. Very cool on that. And this is probably, I think it's going to be a two part because I have some others to show you. Um, and I, I actually shot those yesterday, but then stuff kind of got hectic for me. And uh, this is the Firelight, Little Johnny, by the way. It's All of this is on the website. You guys can grab it at www.jekyllbaits.com. Um, and there's an order, and this is for Brian. This is going to be going out, uh, I believe, either later on today or tomorrow as well. Asked for some deep divers. And the other order that I want to show you is deep divers as well. But we're also going to show you a couple other things, too. This is that deep Texas red. He asked for a couple of those. And a couple of shad. That red orange. I really enjoy when people give me the liberty to kind of do my own thing. I love the guys and, and gals that say, hey, I want to order like seven pieces and I want these colors, but do with them what you want. That's pretty awesome. I appreciate you all having that kind of trust and confidence in me that I'm going to give you a pattern that is going to work for you guys on the water. Normally when I'm taking orders and special orders requests, I ask you guys where you are geographically and then uh, I do a little bit of research. Most of the stuff I, I pretty much know for the time of year, what's going to be working and what's not. but. Um, if it's a place that I haven't sprayed for, uh, like a lot of the, like Havasu and stuff like that in the spring, I'll do a little bit of extra research and see what kind of patterns are going to be working for the time of year that you want to be fishing. And uh, make sure you guys have a great bait. So that's what I do. I have not shown you this finished product. You guys have seen it if you're on my Facebook feed. I don't think I've Instagrammed this yet. This is that giant hornet. The European Hornet, there you go, on the bottom, really had a good time. It's, it takes a lot of time to do something like this though. It's a lot of, a uh, lot, lot, lot of labor, it's a labor of love you would say. And then uh, I, I wanted to show you this finished Jenko product. This is that crappie. And uh, this one is up for grabs, y'all. So I'll probably put this exclusively on the Jekyll Bait 
Facebook page if you guys are interested in acquiring that. Uh, again, it's, it's a little over half an ounce, and it's uh, right at three inches long. So that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope uh, you have a fantastic weekend, and I hope if, if there's any bad weather, it is through where you guys are at now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. There's some other stuff really cool over here that I get. From time to time, I get... Um, oh, there's my compressor. From time to time, I get stuff in that I'm asked to test out, and I'm not really going to say a whole lot about that right now because I was asked not to, but just some really cool stuff happening at Jekyll Bates, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. There is another spray session coming out. It should be out this weekend. And I will see you guys on the water. Happy casting.